Right, today's activity, I thought, because it's now getting very cold and wet, so we're heading towards autumn, the colours of the trees are changing, all the leaves are changing, so I thought it'd be nice, actually, to do some leaf prints. So, I've just got a pad. Again, you guys have got more time to do things than I have. Uh, but you could draw a tree in the middle of your page and then add your leaves. But I just thought I'd show you how I do it. I know you're all really good at these things. So, I've chosen what I think are autumn colours. So, I've got a bit of yellow. A bit of green. My favourite colour, as you all know. This is a kind of brown. red these leaves are on tissue because i've been drying them out because they were very wet this morning so i'm going to use this big leaf and get a brush put my glasses on so i can see what i'm doing and here we go so i think i might start with red and if you do it not on the bit that we usually see on the tree on the back of it you can see the veins and they're the bits that we want to pick up on with the paint so just put your colours as you want to It'd be nice to go and have a walk and, and find some leaves you don't have to go far now because they're starting to fall off the trees right so here we are Put it on the paper and gently press it down. And then as you lift it up, can you see all the lines from the veins? This is how they get the water in the leaves through the veins. And that's what's been picked up in the colour. We'll try it with another one. I think this is my favourite. Try and get to the end so you get all the detail of your leaves. You can also do collages with leaves and make funny pictures. Right, here we go. I'm going to put this one this side this time. Gently press it down. They're quite easy to do at the moment because the leaves are still quite soft. And there's the other leaf. So like I was saying to you, you could put a tree trunk and then have your branches and put your leaves around it if you wanted to. But if you haven't got paints at home or you don't want to, I'm going to do this one with, you'll all know these when you come to Bluebell, wood dabbers. Diane uses them all the time. We've got them everywhere. So I, th I just wondered what the effect would be like. So I'm doing what it says. I'm dabbing. Again, the back of the leaf. Let's see what effect it gives us. If some of the leaves are curly that you pick up, you could put them under a book, perhaps between kitchen rolls to stretch it out. There you go. That's how it looks with a dabber. And also, I thought, I've got some chalk here. I wondered what the effect would be with this one. So let's give this one a go. Should we try this one? Oh, this has got tiny little veins. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Oh, it started to. I obviously need to spend more time on that. But there's a few ideas of how you can do your leaf printing. You could actually do it on canvas and make a nice picture for your bedrooms if you wanted to. So, hope you enjoy it. Bye.